Right, so I'm really excited for this. I just discovered Plan Gen like a week ago and I've been obsessed with it, but now I found the mod Life Gen um, that kind of takes all those features of Clan Gen where you follow the life cycle of a clan and just puts it on one cat so I can follow the story of one cat and grow with them and see what becomes of them, which is exciting. So I thought I'd just record it so I don't have to keep breaking away and writing stuff down. I can just watch this back. Ah! Okay, so, start a new clan, and hmm, let's random generate this, partridge clan, okay, cool, cool, prim clan, cute, oh, moss clan, oh, I like, why do I like that? I'm gonna choose it. So, there's a few kits here I can choose from. Tadpole kit is charming and a picky nest builder, cute. Mulberry Kit is lonesome and a moss ball hunter. In Moss Clan? Never. <laughs> Honey Kit? Sweet and oddly observant. I like sweet. Snap Kit? Oh, you are cute. I like your eyeshadow. <laughs> Daydreamer and an avid playfighter. Okay. Hound Kit is impulsive and oddly insightful. Hail Kit is sweet and oddly observant. Streak Kit is troublesome and a picky nest builder. Airmine Kit is bullying, nice trait and quick-witted. Light Kit is nervous and a lover of stories, you are adorable. And Dark Kit is sweet and confident with words. Uh, Willow Kit is troublesome and quick-witted. And Lightning Kit, oh, <laughs> heterochromia, <laughs> is... Nervous and interested in clan history. Hmm. I've got to think about this. I really like sweet and confident words that stuck with me. Dark Kit's very cute. Um, but I also liked Snap Kit, who was a daydreamer and an avid play. But oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go with Dark Kit, I've got to be honest. So someone who's sweet and really confident with words. Recruit. Dark Kit. I think I'll call them Cherry Cherry Kit and Oh, I love all these mountains. Oh, I'm gonna have to. It's so shiny. I have to pick this. I have to pick this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Welcome to the world, Cherry Kit. Okay, we've got a clan. Okay. Oh, this is new. Okay. Let's see. I'll find... Oh, so I'm not here. Oh, because I, I mustn't have been born yet. Okay. So we've got Crested Kit, who's a little girl, and she's very polite and interested in clan history, which is always good. Got another little girl called Strike Kit, who's charming and quick to help. We've got Cops Kit. Cops kit? Cops kit. I'll say cops. <laughs> Who's female, has an active imagination, and is very noisy. Sounds like a good friend. Burn it smoke. Oh, nice. Fierce and natural intuition. Oh, she's strong. I, I think she has a lot of history. Yeah, I'm excited to think more about her. We've got Rubble Drift, who was gorgeous. Look at that old man. You still got it. Confident, den builder, and formidable fighter. So we've had quite a strong clan before us. Bluebell web. Righteous and a good swimmer. Okay. You're also really cute. Why are all the cats so cute? Oh, Ravenfoot. Okay. Um, Ravenfoot is bloodthirsty. This is a very fierce clan. Um, a good speaker and a fast runner. She's gorgeous. Oh. Midnight Heart is troublesome, clever, and a den builder. Ooh, wait, so Ravenfoot is the youngest at 33 Moons, okay. Ripple Shade, she's really pretty as well, I like her tail. She's troublesome, got a keen eye, and is a great mediator. Low Buzz, so Low Buzz is the medicine cat. She's a troublemaker and a great kit sitter. A troublemaker cat, med <laughs> a troublemaker medicine cat 
I like the sound of that. Okay, what are you gonna get up to? Rattle cry. Oh, I like that name. Oh. <laughs> Rattle cry is the deputy. He's faithful, a good speaker, and a good mediator, which is probably needed in this clan of really bold and fierce personalities. Need someone to hold it together. And Shellstar. So Shellstar is another male. Shellstar is 15 moons. Okay. Um, so a very, very young leader. Um, he's strict. He's a great speaker and a great law keeper. But why is he so young taking charge? What? Why? Huh. So I'm going to have to have a think. I'll think about that later. Okay. So I'm going to try and play this as if I am the kit, so I have no idea about all this clan lore and history, and we'll kind of build on that as we grow and see what happened to make little Shell Star such a young leader. What happened in this clan? So I'll go to events and, yep, unborn. Let's time skip one moon. In the comfort and shelter of the nursery, Midnight Heart welcomes you, Cherry Kit, into the world. Their scent and warmth provide a haven as you snuggle into the soft moss. The gentle hum of the clan's voices float through the den, whispering tales of courage and camaraderie, a promise of your future. Oh, cute! Uh, not a uh, okay, so there's a lot of relationships. But I don't think, as a freshly born little potato kit, a little squashed thing, we wouldn't really pay attention to much of what other people are doing. Oh, there's our name. So, Cherry Kit called Rubble Drift the wrong name. Understandable. We're, we're just beginning to learn. Uh. Lobos appreciates how Cherry Kit always seems to ask how they're doing. Very curious little Cherry Kit. Very good with words, so that makes sense. Shellstar wants to spend more time with Cherry Kit. Of course, of course, we're fantastic. Um, do do do. Oh, that makes it easier. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's our stuffs. Oh, Shellstar saves Bluebell Web from a dog and was barely even hit. They're a bit bruised, but bruises are better than claw mocks. I agree. And Strike Kit has got a runner nose, so we have to be careful around that. Now go into cabin. We're so tiny. We're so little. A little newborn boy, born to Midnight Heart. A sweet little kitten who's confident with their words. Now I'm just gonna see our parent midnight heart hmm. so midnight heart was the troublesome warrior who was clever and a den builder and we don't know who our mother is but we just know that we have our dad and that's okay Midnight Heart was roped into playing Moss Ball with the kids, and of course we made him play Moss Ball. So let's start back here. Cherry Kit is bouncing around in excitement. So it's a little while after, it's still our first moon of life, but we're finding our feet. And we're excited to be in this clan, everything's so new and it smells fresh. A little bit intimidating at times, but we feel like, yeah, this is our home. And Crested Kit is a bit older than us. She tries to sneak out of camp, so she's a little bit cheeky, but she's polite with it, and she gets escorted back to the den, and we're very curious and ask, oh, how, how, how did it go? What did you see? Huh. The apprentices told me that the forest is full of monsters. They said that there are ones that eat young kits and apprentices for breakfast. 
I don't think I want to be able to leave the camp anymore. If I have to go out there. Okay, Crested Kit. Well, I think it's not surprising they told you there were monsters, considering you tried to sneak out. But yeah, I think Little Cherry Kit believes that story and is like, oh no, not monsters. Strike Kit is asking... <laughs> cops Kit? The cops! About their day. So, charming little girl, who is sick. Quick to help. I don't think we speak to her just yet, because she's in the medicine cat den and we're still in the nursery. Cops Kit loudly explains why being quiet is super boring. I quite like that. So, she's noisy and has an active imagination. And since she's explaining so loudly, we'll have a conversation with her. Have you ever tried to climb in trees? It's so much fun. I like to pretend I'm a bird, looking at the world from up high. Of course, it's a little scary, but that's what makes it exciting. Maybe when I'm a warrior, I'll sleep in a tree. Then I could watch the stars all night. Okay, cute. That does sound like fun. Cherry Kit likes the idea. Previous cat. Bernet Smoke has been sleeping a lot more as of late. Well, you are an elder, so you do deserve your rest. Rebel Drift is enjoying the warm sun in the camp clearing. Ooh, nice. Bluebell Web wants to get to know Ravenfoot better. Righteous Elder. Ravenfoot daydreams about killing a certain cat. Now, these little, like, anecdote things... Or like the cats in a fort, so we wouldn't really know this. We would just see. Ravenfoot is thinking very deeply. She's having a great time thinking about stuff. I hope not about killing us, but you never know. Midnight Heart was roped into playing Mosbo with the kits. Ripple Shade tries to set a good example for the younger cats. As a troublesome warrior? Good, good. Your, your character growth already. Low Buzz is mixing up pimps. <laughs> Very troublesome, but at least you're good with kits. And Rattlecry regrets not eating the bird in the fresh kill pile earlier. Well, it's because you're faithful, and that's a good trait to have. Really good. Shellstar is dreading the clan meeting they must call later today. Huh. Poor Shellstar. So, this will be the only time I read these little thingies, unless they directly have to do with Cherry Kit. So I'm just going to go and look at our relations to see our relationships and who we like. So we quite like everyone really, we've got a bit of like going on. Of course we really like our dad, but everyone's pretty much in our good books. Yeah, guess we like the most Crested Kit and Ravenfoot. So I might put something in there about that. Why would we like Crested Kit and Ravenfoot? I guess because Crested Kit's really polite. Okay, I'll put something in the history. So, Cherry Kit enjoys with Yonk. Ah. <laughs> Just so I can remember this in the future, we quite like Crested Kit. Other than that, I think, I guess we'll star us. Let's see what the next moon has in store. Some sleeping warriors rest in the warrior's den. You accidentally trod in a tail while sneaking around and the warrior gives a low growl. Tail between your legs, you dart back to the nursery. You venture into the elder's den and they chase you away grumpily. You resolve to try again tomorrow. Relationships. 
Cherry Kit shared an embarrassing story about Bluebell Web they were asked not to share. Oh no, what did you find out about Bluebell Web? Cops Kit asked Cherry Kit to go fishing with them, but they keep on getting distracted by each other. Who's, who's going on health? Shell cells bruises have disappeared. Good. Lobos was... Ooh. We, will, we don't know that though. Okay. Hmm. What do we know about you? Did we see you? Did we see you? Oh. So maybe when we were sneaking around the Elder's Den and we accidentally wound up the elders. Bluebell was quite short with us and we went and told our dad. I was like, Dad, Bluebell was really, really mean. I hope, I hope he doesn't hate me. Maybe he does. I, I, I hope not. I can do better. I, I'll, I'll make it up to him. I'll, I'll speak to him. And Bluebell's like, why is this kid telling everyone I hate him? <laughs> I remember a tale from when I was your age about a curious kit named Mooncit. Mooncit was adventurous, always wandering off and disobeying the queens. A bit like someone I know. And one day, she went too far into the forest. Despite her courage, she wasn't ready for what the forest held. She ended up cornered by a fox. If not for the timely arrival of a warrior, she wouldn't have made it. So remember, young Cherry Kit, listen to your elders. Mm -hmm. They might seem strict, but they only want to keep you safe. Obeying rules isn't a sign of cowardice, it's wisdom. Take that lesson from Moon Kit's tale. Okay, so <laughs> Cherry Kit's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Always follow orders. I will never intrude in this den again. I am very sorry. And... Hmm. I guess... Meow, 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 Okay. Anyway. So, we're... Yeah, we feel close to... I believe it's Crested Kit, who we quite like. And it's pestering the older cats to play with them. And we're like, hey, I wanted to play with them. Oh, you're helping Rubble Drift will tell you a new story. Okay, so we love speaking to the elders. We've just spoke to Bluebell Web, and now we're like, um, Rubble Drift, can, can you tell us a story? While you're being pestered by Fuish, shish. I remember a tale from when I was your age about a curious kit named Mooncit. Um, um, Rubbledrift, I have already heard this story. Mooncit was adventurous, always wandering. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come back later. M maybe you'll have a different one. <laughs> so, it looks like text repeats sometimes. Uh, when was our ripple shaders doing? Oh, let's talk to Dad. The double front paw swipe, have you ever tried that move? It's a powerful one if executed correctly. It involves using both front paws to swipe at an opponent's face or chest, ideally throwing them off balance, but it requires great strength and control and leaves you momentarily exposed. The trick is to perform it swiftly and retreat before the opponent can counterattack, but it's a risky move and not recommended for inexperienced warriors. Remember, each battle move carries its own risks and rewards. The key is understanding when and how to use them. With practice and experience, you'll learn to use the right move at the right time, turning the tide of battle in your favour. Uh, okay, thanks, Dad. <laughs> but thanks, Leah, but I'm... Okay, I'll try that. Yeah, that, that was helpful. I'm... I'm helped. <laughs> so maybe... Uh, Midnight Heart doesn't quite know how to talk to his son just yet. Like, it's a big responsibility just to like, have this child who you need to look after. And I guess the only way he knows how is to make sure he's strong and that he can be a good warrior to contribute to the clan. Which, okay. 
That's that's your own style of parenting. Good job, Midnight Heart. Ripple Shade goes to help a kit that stumbled over their own paws. Lobos is heading to the dirt place. Triple Sim Medica. Medicine Cat. Triple Sim Medicine Cat. But a great kit sitter, so maybe on the way to the dirt place, Cherry Kit's lobbing over like, oh my gosh, I've just got to see what you're doing. Oh, you're a curious little one, aren't you? Sneaking into my den again to explore. I see that twinkle in your eyes. You kind of remind me of myself when I was a kid. But remember, young one, this den isn't just for fun. It's a place for healing and rest. The herbs here aren't just leaves and the flowers. Each has a purpose and a role to play in keeping our clan healthy and strong. See this leaf? It's called yarrow. It can help a cat vomit if they've eaten something poisonous. And, and this one, the bright yellow flower, that's marigold. Good for preventing infection and wounds. A medicine cat's duty isn't just to heal, but also to listen to Starkland. They guide us and give us omens and signs. It's a big responsibility, but it's an honour. We are the bridge between our clan and our ancestors. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't worry, being a cat is the perfect time to learn. Curiosity is a gift, one that you should nurture. Just remember to respect the den and what it represents. Who knows? Maybe one day you'll be the one teaching a curious kit about the ways of a medicine cat. But yeah, stay out of here. Oh, you're quite good with kits. Okay, that was lovely. Thank you for the little introduction to the medicine cat den. We'll let you get to your dirt now. Rattlecry is doing their best to honour their clan and their leader. What a faithful deputy. Do your best. And Shellstar is wishing Cops Kit would play Old Animal quietly. I can imagine why. Let's time skip. One moon! Cherry Kit's got heat exhaustion. <laughs> well, it sounds like we're going to be spending a lot of time in the Medicine Cat Den, so there's a lot we can hear in here. You meet an elder. They're a bit scary with the old scars and stories, but they let you play with their tail. One day, you feel the soft nudge of Midnight Heart. They encourage you to stand on your tiny paws. Despite a few stumbles, you manage to stand tall, looking up to see Midnight Heart's eyes glowing with pride. The feeling of achievement fills your tiny chest, and you know this is the first of millions of milestones that you'll reach. Cherry Kit is giving Bluebell Web a task. What? What task are you giving an elder? What? <laughs> Midnight Heart, Cherry Kit, and Rubble Drift have a nice talk while eating. That's lovely. Rubble Drift was moving some branches out of the way when they got a splinter. Oh no! I, I hope they're okay. I think we would. Look out for them. Strike Kit no longer has a run of notes, and Strike Kit woke up with a splitting headache and couldn't get out of the nest. They spent the entire day curled up in a nursery trying to avoid light and noise so the throbbing pain could subside. So I'd say. Strike Kit wouldn't hurt a fly, of course. He's just a little baby and he just wants everyone to be okay, and while he's sick in the medicine den. I suppose he'd talk a bit to Lobos, who's actually thinking about taking on a new apprentice. Oh. So he'd be like, hmm. Oh, okay. So this would be a repeat text, so we don't need to read this. But I think Cherry Kit would be asking Lobos a bit about the herbs. Because he really loved hearing about Comfrey and Yarrow and what they all did. So when the medicants and cats just potting about her business, Cherry Kit would be asking, like, what does this do? Oh, is that what that's for? Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I think they'll get along. Rattlecry is napping. And Rattlecry is now wise. Hmm. Wise instead of faithful. So we really need a wise deputy right now because we've got a very, very young leader. 
who is strict and a great speaker. Is there anyone else in the medicine captain that we'd end up speaking to? Oh, Rubble Drift! Hi, Rubble Drift! Whose ears drop in on Bernard's smoke? Oh, I didn't see you there, Cherry Kit. What are you doing in the stuffy elder's den? Oh, wait, I'm not in the elder's den, I'm in the medicine cat den. Oh. Still, why are you even talking to me? I don't think cats my age would seem like a lot of fun to a kid like you. Huh? What's that? You've brought me some flowers. Oh, well, yeah, I, I just thought it would help brighten your day a bit. But there were some violets in my nest, so I thought we could share. I, I think Dad put them there. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. Thank you so much. Really, when you're an elder, you can start to feel like the clan just forgets about you. You've really brightened up my day. Oh, oh, well, hold on, you want to change my bedding? And help me groom? Well, it has been getting harder for me lately, but this is too much. Wait until you're an apprentice before jumping into chores. Okay, I just... I wanted to get a head start. <laughs> Well, that was a nice exchange with Rubble Drift. Anyone else in the- Oh, Strike Kit, you're here as well. Well, we'll like to talk to you. Do you know what's my favourite game? Moss Ball. It's the best game ever. I love chasing the Moss Ball and catching it. It's like hunting, but without the bugs and the dirt. And the best part is, when I score a point, I feel like I can do anything. Someday, I'll teach my own kids how to play Moss Ball. They'll love it as much as I do. Your own kit? You're a little young to be thinking about that, aren't you? I don't want my own kits until I'm at least 120 moons old. But I guess teaching Moss Ball to other people could be fun. Other cats, I mean. What are people? I've never heard of people. <laughs> Will you play Moss Ball with me? I promise I won't go easy on you. Uh, but Lobo said we should rest. Maybe tomorrow, if you feel better, we can play Moss Ball then. Oh, we got to have a nice little exchange with Strike here. Press kit. You don't see yet. Hmm. So I guess we'll go and time skip a one moon. So our heat exhaustion's gone. We look absolutely adorable. We were scolded for sneaking out of camp. We attempted to climb a tree and our little claws scraped against the bark, but we didn't get very far. And that's why we were caught climbing a tree just outside of the camp entrance. We watch a warrior ceremony wide-eyed from where we're crouching at the entrance of the nursery. We can't wait until it's us up there. I think that's why we left the nursery and why we left camp is because we wanted to see what it was like to be a real warrior and go on a patrol. But now that we've been told off and sent back to our den, we suddenly remember the story of Mooncare and how it was dangerous to not follow clan law. We won't make mistakes like this again. On a quiet afternoon, Midnight Heart leads you to the fresh kill pile. You observe as they skillfully select the perfect meal, teaching you about the different prey in the process. Your eyes are wide with wonder and admiration, eager to learn more about this essential skill for survival. Now we're really starting to foster these dreams of being an incredible warrior. Ooh, so Copspaw, our den mate, has been mentored by Rippleshade. Um, I imagine that we're watching them with admiration and just this pure desire and longing to be in their in their paws. We want to be their two touch and nose for mentor. 
Mm. We actually start stuttering when we speak to strike it. I think after our little knockback of sneaking out of the den and being reprimanded, we just feel a little silly and not very grown up and strike it's a bit older than us. So we just want to impress them but we feel like we've acted like too much of a kitten. And it's worse because Strike Kit thinks Cherry Kit is being really annoying. And we can kind of tell. We are we are being annoying. But we don't know what else to do. Lopus has gotten fleas. Cops paw in their eagerness to go and prove themselves as an apprentice has really overexerted themselves since saw now. But we still think they're super cool. And Strike Kit breathes a small sigh of relief. Finally, the deep throbbing in their head has subsided. And maybe that's why we were being quite annoying to them, because we were just insisting and stuttering. It was just going through their heads and they're like, ow, 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 please stop talking. Ooh, Ravenhut spends the evening regaling the clan with stories of the betrayal of the ravens, the great tail chaser, and the cat who flew. So we would enjoy listening to those stories very much, I think. Now, we've got into trouble for bringing fawns into the nursery nest, but we were just trying to help and make it more comfy by bringing in moss, but we couldn't really tell the difference. We're still learning. Crested Kit is regretting eating the bug that they caught. I think we'll talk to Crested Kit now that we're in the same den again. Hey, there you are! I've been looking all over for you. I found the most amazing bug today by the nursery. It was huge! You have to come see it. Do you remember that time when we pretended to be clan leaders and started giving orders to the elders? <laughs> Especially Bluebell. They were so surprised. That was the best day ever. You're the best thing about the nursery. Even better than fresh moss and feathers and when we're warriors we'll be the best in the clan, I know it. No mouse will be safe from us. Oh. They're actually going to be quite close friends, I think. We'll strike Kit, who we irritated a little bit, is asking older cats how kits are born. We'll talk to her now that she's here. Did you know I'm going to be the best warrior ever? I'm going to catch the biggest mice and run faster than any cat. I can't wait until I'm apprentice. I'll, I'll learn warrior moves and no one will be able to beat me. Sometimes, when no one's watching, I pretend I'm fighting other clan cats. I always win, of course. I know it'll be hard work, but I can handle it. You'll see, I'll make our clan proud. Just wait until my name is called at my warrior ceremony. It'll be the loudest cheer you ever heard. Well, I'm sure it will be Strike Kit. And Cherry Kit looks up to you quite a bit. Actually, let's check on our relations. So we still have a oh, so much for Ravenfoot. We really like Ravenfoot. I think in some ways we're hoping that Ravenfoot will be our mentor when we're finally an apprentice. We still like everyone very, very much. Then it smokes bask in the sun. Rubble Drift is assisting with camp cleanup. Bluebell Web is talking to themselves. <laughs> Copsport is grateful to Lobos for their treatment, so I think we'd be really fascinated that Copsport is finally an apprentice and we'd check in. Oh, hell there! What are you doing? Play fighting? So, who are you pretending to be, Cherry Kit? Leader? You might just be one someday with your skills, but first you have to train really hard and become a warrior. I'm nearly one already. Do I want to be the leader? Maybe. I'm not sure. It looks like a lot of work and responsibility, and I don't really want to be too ambitious, because I certainly won't become one. 
it's also an honor to even be a warrior, let alone a deputy or a leader. Oh, oh, my mentor's calling me. Bye, have a good day. Oh, bye, cops, Paul. I'll speak to you later. And you're in the medicine, cat down. You're already, you're still training, even though you have to go. What a dedicated, daring little apprentice. Now Ravenfoot is a bit cross with Stripe Kit, so we might see her being a bit snippy with the other kit, and we'll talk to her and be like, hmm, I wonder why she's in such a bad mood. You see this scar? Got it in a border skirmish with an enemy clan. A reminder that danger can lurk in even the most placid streams. The thing about bottles, it's not about brute strength, it's about strategy. Knowing when to strike and when to retreat. I'm not gonna lie, the fear never completely goes away, but you learn to use it. Channel it into focus, into determination. We fight for our clan, our family, and that's what gives us courage. That's what makes us warriors. In the end, it's not the scars that define us, but the spirit that drives us. We are warriors, after all. Wow. Well. I want to be a warrior just like you someday. Well, then you best get training. I think Cherry Kit really wants Ravenfoot as a mentor. He just thinks she's so cool. And he doesn't know she's quite bloodthirsty. Midnight Heart's feeling sassy today. Let's see what wondrous advice our dad has this time. Oh, you found a shiny pebble, huh? Cats collect all sorts of trinkets. It's a peculiar habit, isn't it? I guess it's the hunter in us. Always searching, always collecting. Some cats have quite the collection. Feathers, stones, bits of two-leg stuff. You'd be surprised what you can find in the forest. Just remember, no matter how shiny or interesting, nothing is more valuable than the respect and trust of your clanmates. Trinkets can be fun and a nice distraction, but it's our actions our loyalty, our bravery that really matters. Those are the things that are truly valuable. So go ahead, collect your little trinkets, enjoy them. But remember, it's the memories we make, the friendships we build that are the real treasures. Okay, Dad. You, you're always full of great advice. I, I know that friendships are great and all, but I, I really like the trinkets. I just love how helpful Dad is when he gives me advice and he never really says I love you son or I'm proud of you but when I look at his eyes I, I, I think he thinks I'm cool. He just wants me to be the best I can be. I know there aren't many warriors in the clan, not since... Well, I think something happened. No one will talk about it. I think there might be some history hidden in the stories. I want to see the truth. Maybe only StarClan knows. Ripple Shade wonders how Bluebell Web is doing. Low Buzz wants to get to know Crested Kit better. Why? What do you want with them? Rattleclay feels overworked. And Shellstar is hoping that they're leading their clan well. And they're only 19 moons, and they're the youngest leader in history. But they're trying. They're really trying. So I'm gonna go in a patrol. Of these cats. I think I'll send Midnight Heart out because that's dear old dad. Um and random it. Yeah, the Midnight Heart and Rattle Cry probably go on a border patrol just because I want some more like extra flavour around the events that are happening. Go on a patrol. Oh! The patrol tracked the scent of a large dog wandering along the edge of the clan's territory and they proceeded. Oh no. What have I... 
What did I do that for? <laughs> I am never patrolling with anyone again. <laughs> the patrol tries to lead the dog away from the clan's borders, but with so few cats, it's impossible to cover each other's backs. Midnight Heart falls to the dog as the rest of the patrol runs for their lives back to camp terrified out of their pelts and mourning their clanmate. So, Midnight Heart died. I'm just gonna pause there for a sec while that settles in. <laughs> <laughs>